your uh, Ausland organization was organized in the same way as the party in Germany was organized. Is that not so? Uh, nicht in allen Punkten, weil es verschiedene Organisationen innerhalb der Parteistruktur im Reich gab, die für das Ausland nicht in Frage kamen. Zum Beispiel das Amt für Kommunalpolitik. Well, perhaps, perhaps I can shorten my, my, my uh, uh, question. Did you have your Hoheitsstruggers uh, abroad in the same way as you had them in Germany? Yeah. The organization in each country was under a Landesgruppenleiter, is that correct? In fast allen Ländern. Uh, and, and under him, there were lower ranking Hoheitsstruggers. Ja, die Ortsgruppenleiter. Uh, was, was the result of that uh, that you had your uh, German population in foreign countries uh, well organized and known to the leaders in those countries? Uh, zum großen Teil dürfte das stimmen, aber es war nicht so durchorganisiert und konnte es auch praktisch nicht sein, dass die Führer der Partei alle Reichsdeutschen in dem betreffenden Land erkannten. Uh, did it never occur to you that in the event of your armies invading a country where you had a well-organized organization. That organization would be of extreme military value. Nein, denn das war nicht der Sinn der Auslandsorganisation und es sind auch keine Stellen in dieser well. Richtung an mich herangetreten. Uh, are you telling this tribunal now that when the various countries of Europe were in fact invaded by the German army, your local organizations did nothing to assist them in a military or semi-military capacity? Jawohl. Very well, now let me ask you about something else for a moment. You had, had you not, an efficient system of reporting from your Landesgruppenleiter to your head office in Berlin. Yeah. I think, uh, I think you uh, said yourself, did you not, in your interrogations, that you took an especial pride in the speed with which your reports came back. In Bezug auf Schnelligkeit habe ich das, glaube ich, nicht gesagt, sondern in Bezug auf die Richtigkeit Ihrer politischen Übersicht. In fact, your reports did come back with great speed, did they not? Das kann ich im Allgemeinen nicht sagen. Es kam auf die Möglichkeit an, sie schnell nach Berlin zu bringen. Inwieweit das in den einzelnen Fällen der Fall gewesen ist, kann ich heute natürlich nicht sagen. Aber eine besondere äh, Schnelligkeit oder ein Schnelligkeitsverfahren hatte ich jedenfalls nicht. Uh, in fact, you told your interrogator, I can refer you to it if necessary, You told your interrogator, did you not, that on occasions you got back information before Himmler or the Foreign Office had got uh, the similar information. Na, es, das muss ein Missverständnis sein. Es handelt sich um eine politische Berichterstattung von den Landesgruppenleitern, 
die ich dann von Berlin aus an die verschiedenen Stellen gegeben habe, Very well. Well, we'll leave the speed. Uh, I, I have it from you that you had an efficient system of reporting. Is that correct? Uh, um das beantworten zu können, müsste ich erst wissen, in Bezug auf welche Nachrichten ich ein gründliches Meldesystem gehabt haben soll. Well, that was going to be my next question. I was going to ask you, uh, what did you in fact have reported by your Landesgruppenleiter to you? Die Landesgruppenleiter haben von sich aus dann an mich berichtet, wenn sie irgendetwas Wichtiges hatten, was sie durch mich den zuständigen Reichsstellen mitteilen wollten. Did they ever report anything which were, might have been of military or semi-military value? Das kann in einzelnen Fällen der Fall gewesen sein, obwohl ich mich im Augenblick an solche Einzelfälle nicht erinnern kann. Uh, they were never given any instructions, were they, to report that kind of information? Nein, im Allgemeinen nicht. Uh, how did you get your reports back? Did you have Wallis sets with your organizations in foreign countries? Nein, solche Sendungen, äh, solche drahtlosen Stationen besaßen wir nicht. Die kamen äh, entweder mit dem Kurier in besonderen Fällen oder wurden von einzelnen Männern selbst nach Deutschland gebracht. After the, after the war started, did your organizations continue in neutral countries? Ja. Uh, did, uh, did they never have wireless sets reporting back information? Mir ist davon nichts bekannt. Ich glaube auch nicht, dass sie welche hatten. Denn das hätte ich wissen müssen. Now, I want to just ask you about one or two documents. Would you look at PS 3258? Lord, that is an exhibit which is already in. It's GB 262. It's a book like that. I have copies of the extract for the tribunal and for the defendant. <coughs> I have it now. I think you can read English. The book itself is coming. Jawohl. But uh, there you have before you a copy of some extracts from it. Would you look at the bottom of the first page, the last paragraph, com commencing in 1938? <coughs> Did you have a Landesgruppenleiter in the Netherlands with the ja. name of Butting? Uh, just pe Jawohl. Just pe uh, pay attention to me, perhaps, for one moment before you look at that document. Uh, do you know that um, Butting shared a house at The Hague with the military intelligence officer? Do you know that? Das weiß ich nicht, nein. Uh, 
Well, now, I want to just put to you quite shortly uh, two paragraphs uh, of uh, this document, which is a report published uh, in the uh, official United States uh, publication called National so uh, Socialism Basic Principles, their application by the Nazi Party's foreign organization and the use of Germans abroad for Nazi aims. Uh, I just want you to tell the tribunal what you think, first of all, about this report, which is printed in that book. In 1938, the German legation owned two houses in The Hague. Both were, of course, the subject of diplomatic immunity and therefore inviolable as concerns search and seizure by the Dutch police. I shall call the house in which Dr. Butting had his office house number two. What went on in house number two? It had been remodeled and was divided like a two-family house, vertically, not horizontally. But between the two halves, there was a communicating door. One side of the house was Dr. Butting's, the other half housed the Nazi military intelligence agent for Holland. You say you don't know anything about them. Rudi war Landesgruppenleiter der Auslandsorganisation. Von diesem Haus oder von diesen beiden Häusern habe ich hier zum ersten Mal etwas erfahren. Das ist mir völlig neu. Very well. Uh, I'll just read on. Uh, SB, uh, that is the military intelligent agent, uh, may have had as many as a dozen subordinates working in Holland, all sub-agents of the Canaris Bureau. These were professional spies who knew their trade, but they could not possibly know Holland as intimately as requir was required by the strategy of the German high command as it was revealed following the invasion of May 1940. For this, not a dozen, but perhaps several hundred sources of information were necessary. And it is at this point that Butty and the mili military intelligence officer came together. Through his German Citizens Association, Butty had a pair of Nazi eyes, a pair of Nazi ears, in every town and hamlet of the Netherlands. They were the eyes and ears of his minor party official. Whenever the military intelligence agent needed information concerning a corner of Holland, which his people had not yet explored, or was anxious to check information relayed to him by one of his own people, he would go to Butting. Now, do you know whether Butting assisted the military intelligence agent in Holland in any way like that? Es ist mir bekannt geworden anschließend, dass er ihm geholfen hat. In welchem Maße er ihm geholfen hat, weiß ich nicht, weil er von mir keinerlei Aufträge in der Richtung hatte. Uh, I understand. Uh, he had no instructions, but he was doing it. Uh, just turn now to the last paragraph on that page, too. I know every stone in Holland, S.B. once boasted. By stone, he meant canal, lock, bridge, viaduct, culvert, highway, by road, airport, emergency landing field, and the name and location of Dutch Nazi sympathizers who would help the invading army when the time came. Had Dr. Butting's party organization not existed under the innocent cover of his citizens' association, SB's knowledge of Holland would have been as nothing compared with what it was. And thus, the citizens' organization served a double purpose. It was invaluable for espionage at the same time as it filled its primary function as a fifth column uh, agency. Do you know whether you're, the members of your organization in Holland were given instructions to learn about every canal, lock, 
bridge, viaduct, railway and so on? Nein, davon habe ich gar keine Ahnung. Very well. Now, I want, to be, want you to be quite clear. I'm putting to you that your organization was in the first place an espionage system reporting information of importance back to the Reich. And in the second place, it was an organization aimed to help and which did help your invading German armies when they overran the frontiers of their neighboring states. Do you understand those two points? Jawohl. <coughs> Did your organization publish an annual book, your yearbook of the foreign organization? Yeah. And uh, did that book contain information as to the activities of your organization during the year? Teilweise, ja. Uh, I suppose uh, the tribunal would be safe in assuming that what was published in that book was accurate information. Das kann man annehmen. Will you look at the uh, yearbook for 1942? Uh, I want copies of the court, too. Lord, I have copies of extracts for you. Uh, M156, 53. Would you turn to page 37 of that book? Uh, if you look back one or two pages in the book, you will find that that is an article entitled The Work of the Norway Branch of the Ausland Organization in the War. And is that written by your Landesgruppenleiter in Norway? Ich nehme das an. Ich kann mich daran nicht erinnern. Uh, will, will you look at page 37 and you'll see that some passages yeah. in, your, in the book you have in front of you have been lightly marked in pencil along the uh, side. Yeah. Will, you, will you find the paragraph uh, which uh, starts, therefore, soon after the outbreak of war in September 1939. Have you got that? Yeah. Uh, perhaps perhaps you'll be so kind as to follow me. Therefore, soon after the outbreak of war in September 1939, the enlargement and extension of the What's German... What's the outbreak of war in September 1939? Uh, the... The enlargement, the enlargement and extension of the German legation in Oslo, of the consulates in Bergen, Trondheim, Stavanger, Christiansand, Haugsund, Narvik, Kirkness, as the official representatives of German interests in all spheres, proved to be of primary importance. This enlargement of the Reich agencies resulted in the local organization of the NSDAP in Norway having to increase its field of activity too in the same proportion in order to support the work of the Reich agencies in particular with party members and other Germans who had a thorough knowledge of the country and language. Uh, why? in September 39, was it necessary for the party to increase its organization in Norway with people of, with people of thorough, having thorough knowledge of the country and the language? 
Answer me that before you read on. We'll, we, I'm going to, you needn't worry about the rest, we're going to deal with it. Why was it necessary in 1939 to enlarge your organization? Uh, es hat in Norwegen, soweit ich mich erinnere, überhaupt nur, und zwar im ganzen Land, 80 Mitglieder der Partei gegeben. <lacht> und es war ganz klar, dass nach Kriegsausbruch die amtlichen Vertretungen nicht nur Deutschlands, sondern bekanntlich auch der anderen Staaten sich vergrößerten und sich als Hilfsarbeiter nationale Elemente nahmen, die das betreffende Land kannten. Das ist nicht auf Deutschland allein beschränkt gewesen, sondern auf sämtliche Staaten, die am Krieg teilnahmen. Uh, yes, I still don't understand why your perfectly harmless organization should have found it necessary to uh, increase its membership with people who had thorough knowledge of the language and of the country. Why should the Ausland organization have found it necessary? Falls auf Anforderungen der Reichsvertretungen Deutsche gebraucht wurden, die Land und Leute kannten, namentlich auch zur Aufklärung über die deutschen Kriegsziele in Norwegen. Genau dasselbe, was jeder andere Staat betrieben hat. Well then, uh, your answer is, is it, that you required them to tell you about targets in Norway. Is that your answer? Nein, das habe ich nicht gesagt. Ich habe gesagt, dass sie zur Verfügung stehen sollten in Norwegen, falls sie für die Aufklärung, also für die deutsche Propaganda, äh, innerhalb des norwegischen Volkes gebraucht würden. Und ich möchte vor allem noch einmal unterstreichen, dass das keineswegs allein von Deutschland, sondern selbstverständlich von allen kriegsführenden Staaten gemacht wurde. Very well. Very well. Let's go on and, and see, what, see what happens next. Uh, the choice and appointment of these supplementary collaborators was carried out by the local leader of the organization in close collaboration with representatives of the Reich. Therefore, from the first moment of the outbreak of war, a great number of party members were taken away from their jobs and employed in the service of the nation and the fatherland. Without any hesitation and without considering their personal interests, their families, their careers or their property, they joined the ranks and devoted themselves body and soul to the new and often dangerous tasks. Tell me, was finding out and reporting about the Norwegian people, was that an often dangerous task? Sicher nicht. What, what then were the often dangerous tasks which your own Landers Gruppenleiter is saying the uh, members of his organization were undertaking from the very moment war broke out in September 39. Dazu kann ich deshalb nicht sagen, weil mir darüber nicht das geringste bekannt ist und ich mir auch keine gefahrvollen Aufgaben vorstellen kann. Ich habe den Eindruck bei diesem Artikel, den ich übrigens nicht kannte, dass äh, der Landeskreisleiter, was menschlich verständlich ist, etwas den Wunsch gehabt hat, seine Organisation wesentlich wichtiger zu machen, als sie war. Uh, but you say you didn't know about this. This appeared in the official yearbook of your organization. Uh, did you never read what appeared in that book? Ganz habe ich es sicher nicht gelesen, denn dieser Artikel ist mir nicht bekannt. Uh, you've told us the members of your organization uh, took no part in this. What about the people who were responsible for publishing that book? Did they never draw your attention to 
An article of that kind? Offensichtlich nicht. Just read on to, just look at the, the next little paragraph. And the successful results of their work, which was done with all secrecy, were revealed when, on the 9th of April 1940, German troops landed in Norway and forestalled the planned flank attack of the Allies. What work was revealed on the 9th of April? What work which had been done with all secrecy was revealed on the 9th of April? Work carried out by members of your organization. Das kann ich leider nicht sagen, weil ich davon überhaupt nichts weiß. <laughs> I see. Uh, will you look just down to the last paragraph on that page? Uh, and it's the second sentence. It's four or five lines down at the end of the fifth line. Uh, oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, you've got the book in front of you. I'd forgotten. Would you look at page 40 of the book? Lord, I was referring to the copy that you, your Lordship has before you. Uh, there is a paragraph, or in the center of a paragraph, the last word of one of the lines starts according. According to the task plan. Have you got that? Page 40. According to... Well, let me let, save time. Just let me read it. It's only a very short bit. According to the task plan, which had been prepared since the outbreak of war, the leadership of the, uh, of the local organization gave orders on the 7th of April for phase one of the state of employment. That doesn't sound, does it, with plans being made for different phases of an operation. It doesn't sound, does it, as if the work of your organization had been simply finding out about Norwegian people. Das kann dann, weil es mir völlig neu ist, ausschließlich eine Verabredung in dem Lande selbst mit militärischen oder anderen Stellen gewesen sein. Ich habe davon bis zu diesem Augenblick keine Kenntnis gehabt. Uh, so I understand you to say, but you were the head of this organization, were you not? Ja. You have come before this international tribunal and given them evidence, presumably, saying that you are in a position to give them truthful and accurate evidence. Is that so? Ja. Do you understand that? Ja, das habe ich verstanden. Well then, uh, do I understand you to say now that you don't know what was happening in your organization? and therefore you are not in a position to give evidence as to whether or not it was a fifth column of business? Is that what... Es ist ganz klar, dass in einer so großen Organisation der Leiter, der in Berlin seinen Dienstsitz hat, nicht alles genau wissen kann, was draußen vor allem auch gegen seine Anordnungen gemacht wird. Ich hatte nicht dieselbe Disziplingewalt über meine Parteimitglieder im Ausland wie etwa ein Gauleiter im Inland, das brauche ich nicht weiter auszuführen, weil es klar auf der Hand liegt. Es ist auch klar, und das ist mir bekannt, dass verschiedene Deutsche draußen auf, äh, an die wegen ihres Vaterlandsgefühls appelliert wurde, sich ohne Wissen der Auslandsorganisation und gegen deren ausdrücklichen Befehl in einzelnen Fällen für derartige Zwecke gebrauchen ließen. Well, uh, in the interests of time, uh, we won't pursue that particular uh, uh, sphere of activity in Norway, just in case it may have been an exception which you didn't know about. Uh, let me turn to something else. Would you look at page 65 of that book? 
page 65. Is that an article by your Landers Gruppenleiter in Greece? Yeah. And is it in the form of a diary, day-to-day -day diary, yeah. of the activities of the Ausland organization in Greece when yeah. German troops invaded that country? Is that right? Yeah. Uh, would you look at page 65? Sunday the 27th of April. Swastika on the Acropolis. Page 60... Uh, uh, that's the heading, I beg your pardon. That's the heading. Yeah. And then I think... I don't know whether it comes directly under that, but under that heading, I set out immediately... This is the Landers Group and Leiter yeah. talking. I set out immediately and quickly visited the other quarters and be where the German colony had been in turn, the Philadelphia and the Institute. I enjoined upon the inmates of the house in Academy Street that they were to re renounce returning home today as well and that they were to hold themselves in readiness. After all, we did want to help the German troops immediately, our local, uh, immediately with our local and linguistic knowledge. Now the moment had come. We must start in immediately. Do you know anything about the Ja, davon weiß ich sogar alles. Das äh, war wohl doch ganz klar, dass im Augenblick, wo deutsche Truppen eine fremde Stadt besetzten und die internierten Auslandsdeutschen befreiten, die ja gefangen waren, dass die sich zur Verfügung stellten den deutschen Truppen, um ihnen in jeder Beziehung als Wegweiser, als Dolmetscher oder als ähnliches zu helfen. Das ist doch wohl das Selbstverständlichste von der Welt. Das ist in fact uh, what they did do. Uh, and the assistance that your organization appears to have given them is that they managed to organize them and get them ready to do it. Isn't that so? That's what your Landers Gruppenleiter seems to be doing. Diese Frage habe ich nicht verstanden. Bitte um Wiederholung. Do you understand that it is your Landers Gruppenleiter who is organizing the members of your organization, organizing them so that they can give their assistance most beneficially to the invading army? Nein. Das ist eine vollkommen falsche Art, es auszudrücken. Der Landesgruppenleiter in Griechenland, der seinen Posten seit 1934 inne hatte, konnte überhaupt nicht wissen, ob eine Invasion Griechenlands kam oder nicht kam. Das hatte mit der Art seiner Organisation nicht das Geringste zu tun. Im Augenblick, wo deutsche Truppen im Lande drin waren, war es ganz klar, dass sie ihre Landsleute begrüßten, sie bewirteten, ihnen halfen, wo sie nur konnten. Das war eine selbstverständliche vaterländische Pflicht. I see. I see. Uh, just turn to page 65. It's the same account. I beg your pardon. Page 66. It's the next page. Uh, will you uh, uh, find a paragraph which commences, Meanwhile, I organized the employment of all party members to do ex auxiliary service for the armed forces. You got Nein, that? I understand it also. Uh, you better you, you you better find the place. You better find the place. Yeah, ja, wo soll das sein? Uh, uh, on, pa on page 66. 66. And it's a new paragraph. Ja, ich habe es jetzt, ja. 
Yeah, well... Uh, meanwhile, I organised the employment of all party members to do auxiliary service for the armed forces. It really looks now as though the Landers Gruppenleiter is organising them, doesn't it? Richtig, in dem Moment, ja. Uh, soon our boys and girls could be seen riding proud and radiant in their Hitler youth uniforms besides the German soldiers on motor, motor bicycles and dust carts. Uh, did you uh, yourself uh, know of the organization and work that your Landers Gruppenleiter had put in in Greece to assist your armies in a semi-military capacity? Or was that another case like Norway which you didn't know anything about? Nein, äh, der Landesgruppenleiter in Griechenland hat keine halbmilitärische Organisation geschaffen, sondern eine selbstverständliche Organisation in dem Moment zur Unterstützung der einrückenden deutschen Truppen auf einem völlig zivilen Sektor auf die Beine gestellt. Uh, very well. Now I want to just ask you about another matter. Uh, A document there uh, which is a, a telegram yeah. uh, from uh, somebody called Stera uh, in Madrid. Stora, yeah. Stora. Was, was Stora something to do with the embassy, German embassy in, in, in Madrid? Stora war der deutsche Botschafter selbst, Dr. von Stora. Uh, this is uh, dated the 23rd of October, 1939. Just let's see what it says. The Landers Gruppenleiter can obtain a very suitable house for accommodate, accommodating the Landers Gruppe, including the German Labour Front, the Ortsgruppe, the Hitler Youth, and the German House Madrid. Also, room available in case of embassy having to spread out. And especially very suitable shut-off room for possible erection of second secret radio sender, which can no longer be housed at the school because of reopening. Landers Gruppenleiter requests me to rent the house through the embassy, in which way very considerable tax expense will be avoided. Have no hesitation in view of anticipated partial use by embassy as mentioned above. If you are not agreeable, I request wire by return. Please submit also to Gauleiter Bola. Were you telling the truth to this tribunal when you told them some 20 minutes ago that you had no knowledge of wireless sets being used by your organization? Jawohl, weil mir von diesen Apparaten und von deren Verwendung, ich muss annehmen, dass es sich um Apparate der Botschaft handelt, nichts bekannt ist. Well, Dr. Seidel, aus der mir übergebenen Abschrift des Telegramms ergibt sich nicht, an wen dieses Telegramm gerichtet wurde. Aus dem letzten Satz des Telegramms muss man annehmen, 
dass das Telegramm jedenfalls nicht gerichtet war an den Zeugen. Meines Erachtens müsste man zunächst den Zeugen erst fragen, ob er von dieser Bitte Kenntnis erlangt hat und an wen dieses Telegramm gerichtet wurde. Uh, perhaps you tell uh, uh, Dr. Seidel, uh, to whom would the ambassador, German ambassador in Madrid be likely to send a telegram on such matters as this? In das Auswärtige Amt in Berlin. Uh, and you, you at that time were state secretary in the foreign office in Berlin, were you not? Ganz recht, jawohl. October, uh, October 39. <coughs> uh, ja. And uh, be beneath the signature, Uh, is set out the distribution to, uh, I imagine, yeah. various persons uh, and departments in the uh, Foreign Office in Berlin. Is that so? Yeah. Uh, 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 and uh, are you saying now that whoever it was in all those departments who were asked to submit this matter to you, that they all failed to do so? Nein, das behaupte ich nicht. Die hätten das sicher getan. Do you remember? Do you remember yourself seeing this telegram now? Nein, ich kann mich daran nicht erinnern. Das wäre mir auch aufgefallen, denn äh, zwei Geheimfunksender in Spanien ist eine Angelegenheit, vor der ich bis heute nichts weiß. Es wäre auch äh, absolut in der Ordnung, wenn ich das zugeben würde. Ich kann es aber nicht, wenn ich es nicht weiß. Der, Ver der Verteiler erwähnt unter Nummer 3 den Staatssekretär, mit dem ich aber nicht gemeint bin, sondern der Staatssekretär des Auswärtigen Amtes, der politische. Meine Bezeichnung hieß im Auswärtigen Amt Chef AO. I, I can save you, I can save you all that. I'm not suggesting that that state secretary means you, Secretary of State. Uh, otherwise, quite obviously, it would not be asked to submit it to you. Uh, what I want to know is Uh, what uh, you or your embassy or both of you working together uh, wanted with two secret wireless uh, uh, transmitting sets in Spain in October 39. Are you still saying that your organization were quite unconcerned with reporting back information of military importance? Uh, wie, mein, wie ist das gemeint, Zurückgab? Uh, are you telling the tribunal, I want to be quite clear, are you telling the tribunal that your organization were not being used for espionage purposes in Spain? Jawohl, das behaupte ich. Es ist ein Unterschied zu machen, zwischen einzelnen Mitgliedern der Auslandsorganisation, die selbstverständlich ohne mein Wissen, ich habe oft genug dagegen protestiert, für derartige Zwecke draußen verwandt wurden. Ich hatte nichts dagegen, dass Deutsche im Ausland in einem Kriege, wie das bei allen anderen Staaten mehr als reichlich der Fall war, dafür verwandt wurden. Ich wollte aber nicht, dass es sich um Angehörige oder Funktionäre der Auslandsorganisation handelte. Es muss ein Unterschied... Uh, Pardon. I don't, want to, I don't want to stop you at all. I don't want to stop you. Go on. If you have anything useful to say. But uh, in the interest of time, try and make it as short as possible. Have you finished that answer? Ich habe den Eindruck, dass hier verwechselt wird die Auslandsorganisation als Organisation mit dem, was einzelne Auslandsdeutsche draußen als ihre vaterländische Pflicht im Kriege getan haben. Da scheint mir der springende Punkt zu liegen. Uh, well, I won't argue about that. We've seen that uh, your organization took sufficient interest to reproduce accounts of what they were doing in its official book. I just want to show you one further uh, Lord, I have one further document to put to this witness. Give that to me. Give that to Dr. Simon. Lord, it, it 
Tis a document which I have only just uh, had found. As a matter of fact, I have not had time to have copies made for the tribunal. The tribunal would forgive me if I read extracts from it quite shortly. Uh, is that a, a, it's an original document that you hold in your hand, uh, and it appears to be, does it not, a carbon copy of a letter from Con... Is that a letter from your Landers Gruppenleiter, Conrade? Das ist äh, ein, offensichtlich eine Anweisung des Landesgruppenleiters Conrade, die nicht, den, nicht von ihm unterschrieben ist. Uh, well, uh, if you look at the end of the letter, you'll see that it is actually signed, Conrade. The usual Heil Hitler Dieses Exemplar von ist von ihm nicht unterschrieben. May I, uh, would, you, uh, would you get that copy? Perhaps these documents will... It is in fact signed, Conrad, it is a good shame. Nein, es ist nicht von Conradi unterschrieben, sondern mit der Schreibmaschine. Uh, I'm, very, I'm very much obliged to you. I'm sure it's entirely my, my fault for not making myself clear. Uh, I told you that that is a, a carbon copy, apparently, or copy of a letter uh, which was, shall we say, set by Conrad. That appears to be so, does it not? Das kann ich nicht wissen. Denn ich kenne natürlich nicht alle Briefe, die Herr Conrad geschrieben hat. Uh, no, uh, you can take it, uh, anyway, so far as you are concerned, but that is a, a, a document, a German document, which has been captured. And that it is a bit of paper that you are holding in your hand that was found by Allied troops. And that bears the typewritten signature, Conradi, who was your Landesgruppenleiter in Romania. Is that correct? Do you remember yes. that you had a Landesgruppenleiter in Romania? Fun? Der hieß Conradi. Yes. Uh, and is this a letter of instruction to the Zellenleiter in Constanza? Yeah. Uh, it's dated the 25th of October, 1939. Uh, will you uh, read the first paragraph? On the uh, 9th, 12th October, conferences took place with the senior party functionaries or their deputies of the South Eastern and Southern European groups at the offices of the direction of the ANS Ausland organization. Uh, does that mean Berlin? Berlin, jawohl. That, mean, uh, that means your offices, does it? In, in meinem Büro. Yes. Uh, so that Nicht in meinem persönlichen Büro. 
No, but in the office uh, over Jawohl. which you had complete control. Richtig. Richtig. Uh, I imagine, before we go on, that uh, no uh, orders would be issued from your head office at a conference of that kind which were contrary to your directions, would they? Nicht in wichtigen Sachen, natürlich nicht. No, I'm much obliged to. Uh, I subsequently received uh, direct instructions from the competent, competent office of the direction of the Ausland organization. So it appears that the directions given at the conference were confirmed in writing. Uh, during the war, every national socialist abroad must directly serve the fatherland, either through propaganda for the German cause or by counteracting enemy measures. Now, perhaps you turn over, uh, or rather you'd miss out, because I'm reading from the English copy, uh, the next paragraph and the next but one paragraph and go on to the paragraph commencing, as everywhere else, it is extremely important to know where the enemy is and what he is doing. These are directions, remember, I want you to be quite clear about this. Keep it in mind. These are directions coming from your head office in Berlin. It has been ascertained that the intelligence service has attempted, sometimes <coughs> successfully, to obtain admittance into the activities of the party groups and associate organizations and associate organizations for seemingly trustworthy persons. It is therefore necessary that you thoroughly investigate not only all those persons coming into contact with you, who are not very well known to you, but more than anything else, you must put any new person appearing in your circle under a magnifying glass even possibly let him be taken uh, in hand, I'm sorry, by a comrade whose absolute Nazi convictions are not generally known to the man in the street. Uh, I think we can leave out the rest of that. Yeah. Uh, you are to report everything that comes to your notice, even though it may, may be at first sight, it may, at first sight, appear very insignificant. <coughs> Rumours mm. suddenly arising also come within this category, however false they may be. Did your, do you remember your members in Romania being told to report everything, everything they saw? Selbstverständlich. An important section of both of you and your comrades' work must be industrial concerns and business enterprises. Not only because you can transmit your propaganda very well in this work, particularly in such concerns can you easily pick up information concerning strange visitors. It is known that the enemy espionage organizations, especially, are active in industrial circles, both as regards collecting information and carrying out acts of sabotage. Comrades with close connections with shipping and forwarding companies are particularly suitable for this work. It goes without saying that you must be meticulous and cautious when selecting your assistants. You've got uh some more to, to read from this document? Lord, if so, we'll, we'll adjourn now until two o'clock. Uh, witness, will you look again at the document we were reading uh, before the court adjourned? Yeah. Uh, would you look at a paragraph which commences, it's about halfway through the letter, which commences an important section of both of them, uh, I beg your pardon, as everywhere else. As everywhere else, it is extremely important to know where the enemy is and what he is doing. But I'm not absolutely certain uh, 
that I didn't start reading that. that, that uh, you had read that and the next one and the one at the top of page two, uh, page three in the English text. At least I think you had. You'd read the one beginning an important section. Well, I'm, I'm, much, I'm much obliged to Lord Chair. Uh, perhaps I could start at an important section, which is, uh, I think, uh, perhaps the last yeah. last. last. Uh, the uh, paragraph uh, commencing an important section. You got that? Yeah. An, uh, an important it. section of both of you it, yeah. and your comrades' work must be industrial concerns and business enterprises. Not only because you can transmit your propaganda very well in this way, Particularly in such concerns, you can easily pick up information concerning strange visitors. It is known that the enemy espionage organizations, especially, are active in industrial circles, both as regards collecting information and carrying out acts of sabotage. Comrades with close connections with the shipping and forwarding companies are particularly suitable for this work. It goes without saying that you must be meticulous and cautious when selecting your assistants. In this connection, a reference to interstate organizations and exchange organizations is relevant. I particularly want you to note these next lines. It has been proved that these often use harmless activities as camouflage and are in reality to be regarded as branches of the Foreign Intelligence Service. Witness doesn't that exactly describe the way in which the Ausland organization were carrying on their business? Read it again. It has been proved that these often use harmless activities as camouflage and are in reality to be regarded as branches of the Foreign Intelligence Service. Doesn't that fit in with the directions that this Landers group and lighter of yours has been writing to his members in this document? Gegenteil, ich finde, dass das ein klarer Beweis ist dafür, dass diese Organisationen, die hier erwähnt wird, werden im Dienste der fremden Spionage und nicht etwa der Deutschen standen. Ich lese genau das Gegenteil dessen äh, heraus, was der Herr britische Ankläger vorgelesen hat. Are you not giving instructions here, or is not your Landers Gruppenleiter giving instructions to carry on counter-espionage, the work that is carried on by the intelligence service? Isn't that what, isn't that what the whole of this letter is writing, writing about so far? Der Brief dreht sich offensichtlich, der Brief, den ich nicht persönlich kenne, dreht sich offensichtlich darum, dass Auslandsdeutsche angewiesen werden, in anderen Fällen Meldung zu machen, wo sie der Arbeit der Intelligence Service begegnen. Dagegen ist in einem Kriege meines Erachtens nicht das Geringste einzuwenden. Very well, well, we won't go on arguing about it. I understand that you, uh, know, you know nothing about the uh, instructions which are contained in that letter. That's the first you've ever seen or heard of it, is that right? Nein, diese, dieser Brief ist mir neu und uh, ich weiß auch nicht, ob er original ist. Ein Original liegt nicht vor. May I take it then uh, that uh, of the countries around Germany in which your organization worked, you have no knowledge of the activities that they were carrying out in Belgium. You have no knowledge of the activities that they were carrying out in Norway, none about what they were doing in Spain, and not very much about what they were doing in Roma Romania either. Is that correct? Nein, das ist nicht richtig. Ich habe selbstverständlich Kenntnis von der Tätigkeit der Landesgruppen draußen gehabt, aber es ist mir nicht ganz klar, welche besondere Tätigkeit als Zweck der Auslandsorganisation der Herr britische Ankläger herausstellen will. Ich 
if you had uh, knowledge of any of their activities, I understand from your evidence that you had none of the activities about which uh, your own uh, Ausland organization yearbook publishes a story both in Norway and Greece. The activities recounted in those two stories, you had nothing to know, you knew nothing about them at all, is that right? Die Tätigkeit in Norwegen kannte ich nicht, das habe ich bereits ausgesagt. Die Tätigkeit in Griechenland kannte ich sehr wohl. Außerdem bewegt sie sich auf einem völlig normalen Gebiet. Very well. Well, I want to leave that and I just want to ask you uh, two questions uh, about another matter. Am I right in saying that the information and I'm not going to argue with you now as to what type of information it was, but the information that your organization sent back, was that passed on to the defendant Hess? Uh, teilweise ja, teilweise nicht. Das kam auf den Inhalt der Information an. Wenn sie eine außenpolitische Information war, bekamen sie natürlich andere Stellen. You were, in fact, acting as a, a, a pool of information, were you not? Uh, let me explain myself. You were forwarding information that you received to uh, the SS? Teilweise ja. Wenn ich an, an die SS nicht, sondern uh, wahrscheinlich... To the an Foreign Office? Auswärtigamt auch teilweise. Uh, and to the Abwehr, were you not? Abwehr sehr gering, aber das ist auch vorgekommen. Das wird auch nicht bestritten. Uh, you, say you say very slightly, did you not have a liaison officer attached to your organization from the Abwehr? Nein, ich hatte nur did einen Mitarbeiter, der ehrenamtlich die Verbindung zur Abwehr in vorkommenden Fällen aufrechterhielt. Perhaps we are talking about the same gentleman. Did you not have a, a, a Captain Schnauss? Attached to your head office in Berlin. Herr, Herr Schnaus ist nie im Leben Hauptmann gewesen, sondern war politischer Leiter und ehrenamtlich SS-Führer. Im, Im Heer war er, glaube ich, Feldwebel. Er stammte auch nicht von der Abwehr, sondern war Personalchef der Auslandsorganisation und rein ehrenamtlich für diese Verbindung tätig. You, you say he was not... Uh a liaison officer between your organization and the Adver. Ja, meinen Sie, er war überhaupt kein Offizier. Er, er gehörte der Wehrmacht nicht an. I, 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 I uh, don't want to quibble with you about his rank. Uh, was he in effect, whatever he was, uh, a lia acting in a capacity of liaison between you and the Adver? Richtig, das ist richtig. Now, in addition to the information that has obtained through your system of reporting, that's the Ausland organization, from those organizations which were dealing with the Volksdeutsche, that is to say, non-German citizens, racial Germans abroad who were not members of your organization, because you only uh, allowed uh, German citizens to become members of your organization, but others, Volksdeutsche, I think you call them, did Hess receive information from other sources about their activities? Das kann ich nicht beurteilen, weil ich darüber mit uh, Hess nicht gesprochen habe und die Volksdeutschen Angelegenheiten völlig außerhalb meines Bereichs lagen. Dr. Karl Haushofer was for some time in 1938 and 1939 president of the folks uh, of the VDA, was it was he not? Which was a ich glaube, ja. which was an organization dealing with the activities of the Volksdeutsche in foreign countries. Is that ja. correct? Ich glaube ja. Ich kenne mich in diese, auf diesem Gebiet and nicht uh, aus. Pardon. 
Uh, as you know, uh, Hess and Karl Haushofer were great friends, were they not? Jawohl, das stimmt. Haushof, Haushofer had been Hess's pupil at Munich University. Did you know that? Umgekehrt. Uh, do you not know that Hess received information from Haushofer as to the activities of these other organizations? Nein, davon ist mir nichts bekannt. Well, now, uh, I don't want to catch you out. Is that your answer? Are you being honest to this tribunal? Nein, ich wollte Folgendes sagen, dass uh, der Stellvertreter des Führers uh, peinlich genau eine Trennung in der auslandsdeutschen, das heißt reichsdeutschen Arbeit im Ausland und in der volksdeutschen durchgeführt hat und ebenso peinlich genau darauf achtete, dass ich mit volksdeutschen Fragen in keiner Weise befasst wurde. Ich habe deshalb auch von diesen Vorgängen keine Kenntnis. Uh, Hess as Deputy Führer was in fact in charge of all matters concerning Germanism abroad, was he not? Das war er wohl, weil er im Ausland geboren war, nicht, so viel ich weiß, in seiner Eigenschaft als Stellvertreter des Führers. Ich glaube, das hatte damit nichts zu tun. Are you telling the tribunal that just because he was born in a foreign country, he had charge of all matters concerning Germanism abroad? Ich nehme das an, denn es hätte genauso gut irgendein anderer Reichsleiter der Partei diese Fragen bearbeiten äh, können. Ich äh, nehme aber an, dass Hess sie deswegen übernommen hat, weil er eben das Ausland kannte. I want to be quite clear, whatever the reason was, he in fact did have charge of it. That is your evidence. Ja. Yeah. Uh, now, I just want to remind you uh, of a Uh, passage in uh, your interrogation uh, in this building on the 9th of November. Do you remember that you were interrogated on the 9th of September? No, no, on the 9th of November last. November, yeah. Uh, you were interrogated by a Lieutenant Martin in the afternoon of that day. Ich kann mich an eine Interrogation durch uh, Lieutenant Martin erinnern. Uh, let me read the, uh, a short extract from the transcript of that interrogation and ask you whether in fact it is correct. Uh, you were being asked about the information which came back through the Ausland organization. Uh, question. He would have to rely on you for his inf uh, information on matters of that guy. Answer, uh, not only that, I think Hess had any amount of connections in Hamburg through which he got information, which he told me nothing about. Question, what were his connections in Hamburg? Answer, in the shipping companies. Apparently rather like your Landers Group and Leiter's instructions in Romania. In the shipping company. I think he uh, knew quite a lot of people there. I always had some sort of idea he did. Question. Is that Helfery? Answer. Helfery for one. But then he had all sorts of information uh, from abroad, I believe, through Professor Haushofer, his old teacher, with whom he was very chummy. But he always made a point of not informing us on everything that was Volksdeutscher. Because, he said, it is not your business at all. You don't need to know that. Richtig. Is that correct? That is absolutely richtig, yeah. Uh, 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 and uh, as you said, said it there, is that a correct description of uh, the... Uh, position that Hess uh, was in with regard to information from abroad, from Germans abroad. Does that state like, correctly state the facts as they were? Ja, soweit ich das übersehen kann, 
wird das wohl richtig sein. Ich kann selbst nur beurteilen, äh, inwieweit die, Be die Berichterstattung durch die Auslandsorganisation in Frage kam. Über das andere kann ich nur Vermutungen anstellen, aber keine klare Auskunft geben, weil ich nicht eingeweiht war. Well, I have no further questions.